Uh, Gable Steveson. Gable Steveson. Um, an interesting note. So all of the medal winners in the Olympics automatically qualify in their weight class for the World Championships, which will be held in Oslo, Norway in, I believe, uh, is it September or October? Hold on. Uh, let me just check. Um, hold on. It is uh, October, so that's that's when the World Championships are. So everyone but all the other medal winners have all accepted, and they will be going to the World Championships. And Gable Stevenson is not going. He informed, or or didn't inform, or whatever. So he's he is he's not going to. Uh, so he's not going, which I think would probably mean Nick Wiskowski would go. But the point is, is that that is in, there's a lot of talk of what he is doing next, and he chose not to do that, which makes me think that uh, I may be done with amateur wrestling. Um, you know, so he's not said anything that he's not coming back to the University of Minnesota, but he is going to SummerSlam. You know, we do know that he's going to be at SummerSlam. Um, he expects he's you know going to somebody's Vegas. going to be there. What? <laughs> I'm worried about this card. Well, I think most of the matches on the card are going to happen. I mean, you know, Bianca Belair and Sasha Banks. I don't know what the deal is with them, but I think is, is there any indication that anybody else on the card's not going to be there? Well, I don't know, but I mean they they did a segment. They're gone. There were three other people in the ring. Uh, one of them is married to one half of the tag team champions. I mean, just a lot of, a lot of contacts. If something happened. Um, one of them is married to, okay. Uh, um, who are we talking about? Well, Bianca and Montez. Bianca is, yeah, they're not the tag team champions. Not the tag team champions. What are the tag teams? I'm sorry. Yeah, 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 yeah. You got me confused. Tag team champions are the Usos, and Trinity Trinity wasn't there. So, um, yeah. Well, the Street Profits aren't on the card anyway, but um, they added um, uh, Alexa Bliss against Eva Marie on the pay per view. Yeah, they on sure did. I mean, with all of the people who were on the bench um, that you know could be on the show, like Apollo Cruz or Nakamura. Or whatever they added, Nakamura this. who just won a title, by the way. Yeah, they could do the rematch for the championship, and they had a good match too. You know, Big E has been having good matches. Um, Kevin Owens has been having good matches. Baron Corbin has been not that I'm suggesting Baron Corbin, but he's been all over the TV. Um, I mean, they they have to have the uh, you know the show has to end at a certain time, so you can't be uh, filling yeah, it up we, with. We got to add a short match. Yeah, well, I'm sure they're going to have a really short match. I don't think that there's any doubt that match will be short, but I, I don't know that it's anyone's clamoring for that match. I, I, I don't know. I mean, I don't see any indication that this Lily stuff is is working in any level. I mean, and I would Zero. see an I would see an indication if it was, and but they're still going with it, so. Well, you can't there put you, you can't put Baron Corbin on the card, Dave, because the show's in Vegas, and this he, thing is he can, just he can, asking he, for. He can still he can still like sleep in the ring truck and and well, the no, ring he's, truck will he's drive a, him there. We're in Vegas, so he's got to show up there, and someone throws him one chip, and well, he's got the, next he's thing got you the, know, he's, he's got, happy he, Corbin. He's got the briefcase. He could cash it in on, on like, Bobby Lashley. and No, the they made it abundantly clear on television that he can't cash that thing in. Did they? I mean, I watched the commentary. Because he was running away, the commentators were like, he can't cash that thing in. No, but Pat McAfee kept saying, and he said it like three times, possession is nine-tenths of the law, which is what you say. That's, that, that's saying the opposite. They said possession is... Well, he's is the heel commentator. Michael Cole's the one saying that he can't Michael cash it in. 
Michael Cole said that it's stu- it, it, that it, that 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 you know you shouldn't be able to. He didn't say you. Well, can't. you shouldn't be able to. I mean, of this, course you shouldn't be, able especially to, after last year what they did with Miz in the court case. I mean, that court case was all about how, wasn't it? What's was a court case about? There was the some stupid. Case. He lost it, but somebody else had had uh, handed it to the referee. So we have a precedent that someone else cannot hand it to the referee. The whole thing was stupid. The whole thing is, but it is stupid. But we have a precedent from last year. You can't cash it in unless you're the winner of the briefcase. Miz didn't win the briefcase. Otis won the briefcase. I know, but when Miz won the briefcase from Otis, Miz was the one who ended up cashing in. Yeah, but that has losing. nothing to do with that has nothing to do with this though. That's a completely different. No, but scenario. my point is, Dave Morrison was the one that handed it to the okay, referee, okay, but and here's so the thing, their here's the goofy thing. court case was stating that Morrison was not the 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 briefcase holder, therefore it didn't count. Yeah, but you can't count on WWE precedent. WWE. Well, doesn't I give know a shit. you can't, but I mean, come on, this is stupid. I mean, Corbin well, can't it, cash this thing in. It's completely stupid. I mean, there's no doubt it's stupid. Okay? Now, he could sell it to another stupid person who thinks they can cash it in, but they can't, and get but some never... money for the briefcase and then spend that money in Vegas and win money. I mean, he could do that. They would never said that he couldn't cash it in. I mean, it was, I mean, from what I heard on the commentary, it was very much left up in the air, if not even leaning towards the idea that he could. But it's it's stupid if he could, of course. But who knows, um, you know, what they're going to do. I don't know. I don't know what they're going to do. And there you go. Hey, if you're a big fan of Wrestling Observer Radio, we got 12,000 episodes of all of our podcasts up at our website, WrestlingObserver.com. If you sign up today, you get access to every single one of them. The 12 to 18 new shows that we do every single week. You can podcast them, listen to them on the road, at work, working out, in the shower, wherever you listen to your podcasts. And also full access to the Wrestling Observer newsletter and archives. So if you love what you hear, head to WrestlingObserver.com. 12,000 audio shows at your fingertips.